Guten Tag, meine Herren. That's how it sounds in Germany. Good morning, men and ladies. It's, uh, it's just a privilege to be here this morning, and I want to paint a picture of God's goodness and grace, just what he has done in my life. My name is Pascal Grosjean. I uh, grew up in Switzerland. I grew up in a non-Christian home. Uh, the first 20 years of my life, I was the polar opposite of a Christian. I was uh, involved in many things like sins, you know, like heavy metal scene, drugs, drinking, everything. And the Lord graciously saved me out of this, li of this life. And the verse that really pictures my life is 2 Corinthians 5, 17, where it says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. Our God is in the business of change, transforming people. And I could experience that in my own life. However, it took a while until I got there. Um, I was saved through a testimony of a friend, and this friend then took care of me. He tried to get me into different churches. And there is one thing you need to know about the churches in Europe in general. They're very liberal. It's really hard to find a church that actually teaches scripture. And so I got frustrated because I was reading my Bible, and I examined things, and I got in trouble for that several times. But it was also because of my own sinfulness, of course. So a journey started through different churches, and this was the time when I met my wife also. We got married. At this, time, at this point, I want to give thanks to my wife for enduring with me, for being with me and uh, enduring everything, as well as my whole family, of course. But then, we always had the desire to be missionaries. I wanted to be a missionary, so what we did is, and I was also not very wise, we just went to Russia. Without a lot of preparation, without a lot of things, we just went. We sold all our stuff and we went to Russia. We felt like the Holy Spirit calls us to Russia. So we go. And of course, arriving in Russia, we realized that uh, wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I remember before we went to Russia, there was a guy in Switzerland who handed me a tape. And it was a sermon by John MacArthur. And it was the first time I ever heard an expository sermon. And I remembered being in Russia... I guess we need some more training. We need some more equipping. It was very embarrassing. It was very humbling for us. But it was a good time because the Lord was molding me, was teaching me a lot of things. <clears throat> Sorry, a lot of things during this time. So we came back from Russia, but we went. We, don't, we didn't go all the way back because we went to Berlin. We heard about this Bible school in Berlin that teaches in the same way that there are people from the Master Seminary that are teaching there. So we got there, and I got trained. I graduated from the local training center, EBTC, the European Bible Training Center, in the year 2007. I got ordained as a minister, as a pastor in the church in 2009, and they thought it would be good for me still to go to the master's seminary. A guy like me needs extra treatment, you know. So um, I came here in 2010, and it's been an amazing time for me because um, we experienced so many blessings, and I could say a lot of things. I just want to mention one little thing. And we, we experienced God's care, God's provision in, in many, many little details that just fell into place. I remember before we came to L.A., we were worried about oh, where we're going to live. And we wanted to live close to the church because we want to be involved in the ministry and, and also having an open house policy, having people over. That's kind of what we did in Germany all the time. And so my wife was praying for a house at Cantara Street. And I was like, well, honey... It's right behind the church. I mean, I would be satisfied with a mile away from the church, you know, but that's where we are, Cantara Street, walking distance. So a lot of things like that happened during this time in, in seminary. Also, of course, I was part of the Dulos ministry. That was a great blessing for me to be part of the church here, part of Grace Church, to be able to serve and teach, also teach in the Bible study and all these things. Um, to wrap it up, future plans. We're going to go back, Lord willing, to Germany. Berlin, Germany. I'm going to be a pastor in this church. I'm going to, Lord willing, Lord willing, also teach at the local training center. And as a final word to you men, being in ministry or looking forward to go into ministry, whenever a guy comes into your church, he might not look as nice, you know, long hair, leather jacket, heavy metal, you know, you smell it, the smoke and everything. Don't think, what a sinner, or immediately. That's sometimes our reaction. Go and share the gospel with him. Be compassionate. And you never know, one day, maybe in 16 years, he will end up being at the Master Seminary. Thank you.